guys, how's it going? See, this is Wednesday sometime. Which Wednesday? I have no clue. Uh, April 10th. Okay, now if I could just keep the camera there. Wednesday, April 10th. 2013. Now if I figure it right, by the time I get this ed edited and put up, it's going to be about April 16th or 18th, hopefully 2013 as well. Uh, we'll just have to see. Have to see how things go. Uh, yesterday, I was at the neurologist. Had a bad day after, I usually do. Even when they say things are kind of status quo and nothing has changed, I kind of, I don't know what I expect from them. You know, they can't magically change the course of the illness. It just doesn't work. Can't change it, can't. Well, they're trying to alter it and slow it down, but just nobody knows what the, the current drugs do. Someone is bringing home their ice fishing shack. Yep. Looks like it, but it's not. It's just they closed in a trailer. Presumably. I've seen a couple of shacks come back. Because they've been. Uh, I wouldn't doubt that if I went up towards the Selkirk area, uh, which is closer to where. Uh, Snow Crusher lives. Um, I wouldn't doubt there's still some ice fishing shacks on the ice. Uh, because some of them tend to leave it too long. They actually had to buy permits for them this year. You register a phone number that they can be reached that's posted on the shack. And they can be charged with its removal if they don't get it off when they're supposed to because some years people wait till the last minute and then they suddenly get a, a little bit of a warm spell or some overland flooding or water gets on top of the ice and then it becomes unsafe to go out and get it. So, holy crap, three poles, three transformers. Temperatures starting you know, today, tomorrow. We're supposed to get up around zero today, I believe, and up to plus temperatures for the next week. But still not up to where we're supposed to be. But I'll take I'll take a couple degrees above and let the melt the snow melt slow, so we don't get as much flooding as could happen if we get fast flooding.
comes that way. That's why I don't do karaoke. Closest I ever got to making music was uh, back in junior high and high school and just out of high school. I played trumpet for a few years. school band in grade 12 the uh, school was just starting up a, a marching band which is really big in the states I love you know the, the the Red River exhibition that's held here every every year in the end of June early July it's, a, it's a, about two weeks long and it's like a, a you know a midway with a bunch of rides and they have free concerts and stuff and, it used to be held where the football stadium, the old football stadium is, the Blue Bombers football stadium, uh, Canadian Park. And one of the things that they used to host there was the marching band competition, so they get a, you know, really nothing from Canada because we just never did that for some reason. But they bring up, you know, there'd be a lot of a couple of high schools from the states and several universities from the states would come up. And we never got the, you know, the real, the top of the line ones, but we got the, uh, the smaller university ones. And I just loved watching that, you know, when they, when they get into, you know, marching the routines and they're playing the music at the same time. And just phenomenal to watch. You know, I could watch that for hours. Uh, in fact, I do searches on YouTube for that once in a while and I'll sit and watch 10 or 15 of them in a row. Um, I hate to admit to everybody that might get offended, but the USC Trojans are my are my favorite marching band from the States, especially their drum corps. Yeah. I'm not going to tell you who the best ones are. I just telling you who my favorites are because I couldn't tell you who the best ones are. There are just too many that are just that good. Um,
because there's so few staff at the MS clinic here. They're busy. So when she semi-retired and working more hours than she wants, and uh, so they keep her hopping. So she she said she would have done me done yesterday uh, the testing that I'm going in, or the, the thing that I'm going in for today. Um, she just didn't, couldn't fit the 20 minutes into her schedule. So, it just means that I take another 30, 35 kilometer drive in. 35 kilometers, half an hour in, plus the 35 kilometers, half an hour back home. I also have other running to do in the city, so I can do that, um, which I'm going to do. Anyway, if I uh, think of the topic I was going to talk about, I'll turn you back on. If not, this will be the end of this video, so just in case I don't, I'll bring it back. Take it easy.